business uncertainties and job instability are just some of the ways the COVID-19 pandemic has taken a serious toll on the country's economy. This is especially hard for differently abled people as they face barriers to finding work. Nung pumasok po yung 2020, ang na po, di pa ng series of lockdown. So, stuck din po yung operations namin. So, yung normal na walang kapansyana ng hirapan, at masakaya yung sekta namin. <laughs> Having noticed how the crisis has pushed many Filipinos to extreme poverty, the owners of a Filipino-owned multi-billion group of companies decided to step up and devote their efforts to directly address social issues. We are expecting na one month matapos sana yung lockdown, pero we realize na hindi ito mabilis kung paano yung tao mo. There's a lot of people na talagang nakadepende yung pangkabuhayan dito sa negosyo namin. Worried, afraid, not for me, pero para dun sa buong mga staff, employees, mga franchises. Ang lahat ng hard work, sacrifice, binuhos mo dun. And then, dito mo malalaman na kahit anong plano mo, pag yung nasa taas, binago niya lahat, wala akong magagawa. Hoping to find the best solutions to the situation, the men behind this multi-billion company always believed in the old saying, that to reach your destination, you should always remember where you came from. Well, that was 2006, pa, no? first outlet ng showmaking. In the course of 16 years, naging uh, 1,000 plus outlets. Yan. We have different brands in food industry. In the course of 16 years, we venture in different industries already. Food, we have uh, IT industry, and also we have the health and wellness industry. Everything started after they graduated with a combined capital of just around 40,000 pesos. After seven years, we started a health and wellness company, which is called JC. Nag expand kami to Cebu, company owned Davao. And then, nagkaroon kami na Singapore, international na, sa Milan, Qatar, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Taiwan. And we have created more than 500 millionaires dito sa JC and malaking tulong rin sa OFW. But as with any other industry, the pandemic has bluntly tested the fragility of their systems. To which the two bravely responded, going online is the key. It's more of a survival. I think uh, yung online franchise is bunga ng we want to fight over yung COVID or live through it. Luckily, yung online uh, franchise natin eh, na-embrace ng maraming mga kababayan natin. True enough, the business grew not only in the food, but in IT industry as well, catering to company-owned brands and third-party clients. Cloud Panda is our IT arm. December 2020, we launched TokTok yung delivery service app namin. The main purpose is to cater yung mga orders sa online platform namin ng mga Xiaomi. If I'm not mistaken, we have about 2 million downloads already in uh, less than two years. Last year, the app was recognized by the Golden Globe Awards for Business Excellence and Achievers Best and Fast Delivery Courier Franchise Business for the year 2021. Coupled with their Show My Business's back-to-back -back win as Franchise Company of the Year from Asia Leaders Awards. Nagkaroon ako ng principle noon na kung ano yung napapanahon, yun ang negosyong pinapasok mo. At yun yung negosyong ino-offer mo. Pag ganun yung mindset mo, mas marami kang taong matutulungan. In fact, this philosophy further influenced their desire to succeed to be as great as their desire to help others. JC Cares has only one mission, to help our kababayans in times of need. We do have different programs na sa mga mga PWDs natin, and we do give some scholarship to some of our unfortunate kababayans. 
grateful ako sa nasa taas. And of course, pati sa buong team na nabigyan ako ng opportunity para maging channel of blessing sa iba. Hindi mo kailangan maging sikat, hindi mo kailangan maging malaking negosyante. Basta tulong ka lang, may nakatingin sa taas, alam niya yan. Tumulong po sila in terms of yung mga basic needs ng mga PW, sila yung hygiene care, mga vitamins. Every time na may mga naisip sila ang project, natatanong po nila sa amin kung pwede kami. Indeed, in today's unpredictable economic conditions, business expansion doesn't always necessarily mean profit. For some, it is a modest way to help more people, especially during these trying times. Siguro yung nasa kalooban namin, bakit we always want to help people. The same way na kung saan kami nag-umpisa, ngayon, nasa palad na namin kung maging scarcity ba yun o hindi sa pamamaraan na alam namin. It makes me grounded. Medyo, kumbaga, alam mo, pag, pagka nabe-bless ka, sometimes nalilimutan mo kung saan ka nang galing. So, yun yung naging isang way ko para laging ipaalala sa akin na nasa taas na diyan ka galing. Maliit na tulong man, malaki ang importante, tuloy-tuloy.